In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your PNG files over to SVG format. Okay, so I think we've all been there before. We've imported what we thought was a high quality PNG into our e-learning projects only to find out that once you publish the project, those logos or illustrations look terrible. So your first thought is, you know, I'd love to have an SVG format file, but I simply wasn't provided one by my stakeholder or the client that you're working with. So uh, let me show you how you can take a high quality PNG and convert it into a super high quality vector graphics file or SVG. So as you can see on my desktop here, I've got a copy of my CaptivateTeacher.com logo. I'm going to right click on that and open it with Adobe Illustrator. Now you might have thought Photoshop, but in this case we need Illustrator for its vector graphics capabilities. So we'll open that up and my image file is huge. So, uh, you know, I'm going to resize this. Another reason you might want to convert to SVG is to keep those file sizes nice and small because SVG is just a bunch of points rather than an entire bitmap image. So there's my image there. Now the first thing you need to do is go into the window drop down menu and select image trace. And this is going to open up the image trace uh, panel. And you'll notice that the default is black and white. Now I do have some color in here, so I'm going to choose color. Uh, I only have a couple of colors, but I tested this out earlier and uh, it really doesn't matter really what selections made here. I'm just going to leave it at 30 for right now. And then I'm going to press the trace button in the bottom right hand corner here. And I'll just take a moment to take you through that process. So now that's done. The next thing that you want to do is click on your object drop down menu and select image trace from there as well and click expand. And what's going to happen is you're going to end up with layers that make up the entire vector graphics image. Now I don't need the black background. In fact, I want this to be a transparency. So I'm going to hold down my control key or command key on a Mac and I'm just going to unselect all the elements that I don't want to export which is basically all the black pieces including the background and now I have a fully selected bunch of layers that just contribute to the actual logo of my brand so I can click on the file drop down menu export selection and we'll just give this a proper name here we'll call this Captivate Teacher logo and SVG is already selected for me but you could select it if it wasn't uh, there by default. I'm going to save it to my desktop, that's fine, and we'll click Export Asset. So now that's been saved to my desktop here. We can actually now return to Adobe Captivate and see what that looks like on this particular slide here. So. I'm just going to bring in media and select SVG. We'll navigate to where that logo is and click open. And there it is. I'm going to snap it to the top fluid box here. And let's add some padding around it so that it isn't quite right up against the edge of those fluid boxes there. We'll put about 30 pixels in all directions. Now, it often doesn't look good here, but once we publish or preview this out, I think you'll see a big improvement. I am going to make this part of my logo white as well. So if I double click on the item, I can select parts of the SVG, just like any other SVG that you import, and we can change that background to be any color that you wish here. So now we have a nice solid background that should look well here. And let's preview this project and see what it looks like. So there's my logo and of course if I resize it for different size devices it still looks great. That's the best part about SVGs is that they are vector graphics and you really don't need to worry about what they look like when they've been resized for different size screens or devices. 
If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.